50 for no loss. So his serve will continue. Save out the man on strike. Bowden inside edge back onto the stumps. So Sri Lanka get the breakthrough. Pin drop silence around the ground. Uh, just what Sri Lanka wanted at this stage. Shevag playing the second fiddle to uh, Gambir. This time, foot not in position. And uh, Nuan Soiza is pretty delighted. He's uh, picked up a wicket for Sri Lanka. Just when this pair was cutting loose, getting on top. Shevag goes for 19, India 50 for 1. Well, the stadium erupted. And this man came out to the centre. 183 not out uh, just a week ago. Batting at number three today. Batted at three when he got that 183. And now on strike to Zoysa. Wrapped on the pads. That's close. The finger goes up. Good bowling by Nuwan Zoysa. Two wickets and two balls for Sri Lanka. And Tony departs without tickling the scorers. What a prize wicket for Sri Lanka. Nuan Soiza accurate. Right on the line that he should be bowling. And uh, Dhoni's feet not moving. Pitching around the middle stump. And just bending back a bit. The umpire had a long look. And perhaps thought it was going on to hit the leg stump. So Dhoni goes without scoring. India now 50 for two. Yuvrat Singh comes out to the middle with Nuwan Zoysa on a hat trick. Two left handers uh, out there for India. Only one Sri Lankan has got a hat trick before, Chaminda Vas, and uh, he didn't get it once, he got it twice. Here's the opportunity. Atapatu on the attack. Two slips in place. Could do with another closing fielder. In a gully position. There's a gully now as well. No ball signal. What an eventful start to this uh, eighth over. Seven overs all belonging to India. And then Shreva dragging one onto his stumps. Thick inside edge. No movement to the feet. And then the very first ball that uh, Dhoni faced. Moved across the stumps just a little too much. And no one saw his absolutely later. <laughs> He's got Gambir on strike. Oh, put down. He got his hands to it. It almost stuck. Valiant effort from uh, Kumar Sangakara. He's moved uh, once and then is gone for it. He got it and uh, just as the elbow hit the ground, it spilt out of his hand. And again, chipped in the air, just short of square leg and it goes into the boundary. Once again, Russell Arnold was the man there. And I just got the feeling he reacted uh, slowly. But what's Gambir done here? He's banged into Nuan's voice and hurt himself really badly. And that'll be most unfortunate. If he's damaged his neck or his uh, eardrum or something of that sort. We have a look here. He's looking at the ball. Bang into the shoulder. Of Zoysa. He's down for the count. Have a look here. Oh. He's staggering. He's trying to get up, but he's staggering. He's smiling now, so that's uh, that's okay. It'll, his head will be ringing for a bit. The crowd will want him to stay there. Consecutive boundaries, he's on 43 of 34. And a glass of water. Should do him good. Take a look at it again. Timing was good. 
Well, he thinks he's going to be out. I think all eyes were on the field at Deep Square Leg. Hardly anybody would have been watching anything else but the ball. Nuan Soiza's eyes are on the ball and ooh, it hurt. That's in the air and he's gone. A bit of a slow delivery. Yuvraj Singh with this very high back lift couldn't quite control the shot. Disappointment for all around and especially for Yuvraj. He was indeed tied down. He was looking to break the shackles. Chamin Dabas pitching it up, a slow delivery, he had been mixing it up all the while. And uh, Yura just holding it out to Mahala Jawad and uh, straight to him. So a disappointment for Yura Singh. He goes, India 69 for 3, with rings coming on the field. That is a good shot. As good as any you'll see. Rahul Dravid is really in fine touch. Nothing fanciful, but perfect straight drive. Just out of the textbook, as you would see. Balance, outstanding. And that bat, perfectly straight. Gambhir on 48. Again, this time he's got hold of it. One bounce and out of the ground. Wonderful boundary. And 52 to Gambhir. Gets a pat on the back. An opportunity for him which he has really utilized so far. Does bring the crowd on its feet. What a fine way to get to your 50 after such a long layoff in the one day game. But he sort of quickly latched on to that. Very quickly changes the weight and gets a hold of that one. He virtually pulls on the front foot. One really doesn't see too much of a back foot movement or the foot going back. Picks it up quickly. And there you are, giving thanks. He's got one well-settled batsman out of the middle, Gautam Dambir. Again, excellent footwork and placement. Every loose delivery he's put away to the boundary, Gambhir. And 100 comes up for India. 100 for 3 after 19. It's a quick outfield. Desperate dive there, but uh, ends up in a boundary. Again, the angle from around the stumps, the straight delivery. They played it very late, very, very late indeed to get the placement. Great effort in the deep. He's gone in the air and he's bisected the two fielders in the deep. What a lovely hit. Went with the turn, got four for it. It's 159 for three. This time it's in the air, but there's no fielder there. Top edging it over, over himself for four. Gambhir, not quite where he wanted to pull this one, but he's gotten away with it. Takes him to 98. But lucky here because it could have gone anywhere. But uh, fortunately for him, it went over the keeper's head. And unfortunately for Dilhara Fernando, it's a boundary against his name. On the threshold of a wonderful ODI first hundred. He's got it. Gautam Gambhir punches the air. He deserves all the accolades because this has been a terrific innings. Well done. And the emergence with it of another youngster for India. A packed house and they appreciate it. There's no doubt it's been a top class innings. Nearly 50,000 crowd rise to their feet and isn't he a happy man he's been attacking from the outset but uh, when he needed that single he got a short delivery from Arnold pushes it and uh, that's three figures full innings this has been from young Gambhir Again, going 
next to it. This is a fast outfield and you get very good value for your shots. Changing gears is Rahul Dravid. I think it was the slower delivery. We just watched the ball coming out. Not uh, really the bat fit closing uh, as he made contact. He's looking to hit it uh, more through the offside. But he'll take that. Edge, but wide of Sandakara. Boundary to drive it. The runs will start to come quickly now. Indians have seven wickets in hand. And it seemed uh, intentional, but he, I don't think Dravid wanted it to go that fine. He's definitely looking to open the face of the blade, there's no doubt about that. Highest fourth wicket partnership for India versus Sri Lanka. Between these two, Gambir and Dravid going past Jadeja and Amek Purasya. And taken! Slower delivery! Farfiz Mahrub, the super sub, picks up a wicket. Marvin Atapa to the catcher. But this has been a fantastic display of batsmanship. The crowd will rise on the feet. Yes, it needed a superb catch to end uh, a superb innings. It was well struck, but have a look at this catch. It's stuck. Diving to his left. The ball sticks in his left hand. So Sri Lanka get the break they wanted. And a standing ovation for the young man. 197 for four, India. Giving the charge, there's a man getting underneath it and he's taking it. Taranga, the man, did deep. Second over for Farwiz Maruf and he picks up wicket number two. Yes, a little unlucky here, Benugopal Rao. Could see what his intentions were, is to go down the track and hit it over the infield a lot straight up. Fortunately for him, he finds the man in the deep. Just the lone ranger there, deep on the onside. Sri Lanka will take that. That's one way to stem the flow of runs by picking up wickets. India had lost half their side, 208 runs on the board. Murli Dharan into his third spell. It's been very economical, but the Indians have made sure they haven't given him any wickets. Well, he's found the gap, has he? Great work, but not good enough. Ryan up, picks up a boundary. Man in hurry. Against the turn, not the easiest shot to play. Good support for both teams. He can hit the cricket ball very hard indeed. And he's making his presence felt in international cricket, Suresh Raina. Nice sound of the uh, ball hitting the bat. That phase just closing. He's found the gap on the onside, but the intentions uh, were pretty clear cut. The field was up. He wanted to take uh, a chance with that delivery. Ideally, go over the top. And he's got the boundary. And that's what's refreshing to see the approach. Well, he's given him out leg before, looking to get across the stumps and work it on the onside. He's missed it altogether and three wickets and three overs for Maruf. He's turned it around for Sri Lanka. Well, he picked up a boundary at the previous delivery, and this was the last ball of the over. He'd already got six runs from this over. Not the kind of shot to play. Piston line would have hit off stump. Mark Benson has no problems whatsoever, and Farbiz Maruf will have a big sigh of relief picking up his third wicket. Rana goes. It's 224 for six. 
Sri Lanka well and truly pulled this game back after that tremendous partnership between Gambhir and Dravid. Has he got his fourth? Yes, he has. Played it straight into the hands of mid-on. Maruf is having a tremendous outing. He can only bowl five, but this is his fourth over and he's got another wicket caught by Arnold. What an effort by Maruf uh, as uh, the super sub. This time uh, it's Agaka pulling out to Russell Arnold. So the Sri Lankans continuing in this way and off picking up wickets. So important for them. Agaka goes and India 230 for seven. In the air and fall safe. No damage done to Rahul Dravid except his pulling at his hamstring. 44 gone, 233 for seven. He's gone over the top and he's connected handsomely. Way over the fielder at long on. Six to Rahul Dravid. That's a very good looking shot by Rahul Dravid. Murali Dharan just a little bit over ambitious, giving the ball slight amount of air just more than usual Dravid using his feet there was a man down in the deep but he took the challenge and the ball soared over him couldn't quite pick it up the fielder it was too late by the time he reached four runs this is a difficult time to sight the ball just couldn't quite pick it up in the deep Jayavardena he says he couldn't see it you really can't blame the Sri Lankans too much in these circumstances. That one, Jayawardena really saw it very, very late and then uh, made a valiant effort to uh, stop the boundary, but not to be. That is a good shot. Played in the air, over the infield, and it's also over the boundary ropes. No, it isn't. That's well done. Good footwork. Now this can be problems, goodness me, lots of things happening. How do you describe that, Ranjit? Absolute comedy of errors. There were about three fielders who were looking to touch the ball and every one of them missed it. Great bit of fielding, but uh, they just couldn't finish it off. All the effort from Chamindawas in vain. Dravid wanted the third, was sent back. He would have been run out if Dilhara had collected it. Didn't. Then they went for the third. This could have also been problems for Karthik if he had collected it, but he didn't. So many didn'ts there. He's got him. Full toss. Couldn't quite get the elevation, Karthik. He's disappointed. Should have got four off it. But instead, he's managed to hit it down Atapadu's throat. Yes, it was a full toss, but Karthik surely should have made full use of. Looking to chip it over at the path, but a very good catch indeed. Clings on to it, and um, again, the Sri Lankans have picked up a very valuable wicket at a stage useful to them. So Karthik goes. He's out for a 262 feet. Two of us to go. Was a full toss, he's gone for it, drop it. He's played it into the gap. He's got four. Good hit. The attempted Yorker that went wrong. It is a fine hit by Dravid, a full toss by Chaminda Was. But again, picking the gap is so important. To put it away into the gap is never easy, even with a full toss. And Dravid really had that at the back of his mind. Narp Singh is going to run for everything. Now what does he do? Go for a single or a boundary? Boundary is the way to go. He's got the inside edge and he's taken him. Has he taken the catch? He's appealing. Hari Haran not amused. What happened there? They've taken a run. They've taken a run. And he's signaled a bye. Hari Haran has signaled a bye. Yes, it was an afterthought at a certain age. A great catch and very, very unlucky. Two balls to go. Would he look for the boundary?
Darwin has hit that into the gap. That is four, is it? That's 100 for Rahul Dravid. A standing ovation. What a magnificent 100. Perfectly executed. Well, certainly the crowd's on their feet. Everyone's standing, giving Dravid a real ovation. What a fine innings this has been. Poor delivery from Dilara Fernando. And Dravid gave it the treatment. Last ball. He's got the inside edge, he's probably wanting to come back for the second. Dravid will take his chances, he's struggling. Ah! Has he made it? The third umpire has been called for, but they've got one, that's for sure. They've got a single, Ranjit, we've just got to get confirmation from the third umpire whether he's out or he's made it. I think he's made it. Yes, he has. Despite that injury, despite the pain, Dravid really has shown great courage and uh, picks up that run, that additional run. And there you are. What a fine innings this has been by the captain. So 285 for 8, India. They got 34 runs in the last three overs. 103 for Gambhir, 103 not out for Dravid. And not a lot else there in the batting order. So apart from those 200s, the rest of the batting really struggled. Sehwag got 19, another one very flattered to deceive. No runs for Dhoni for a change. Yuvraj Singh struggling, 103 not out by Dravid. Six for Venugopal Rao, Raina 13, four to Agarkar, Karthik eight, a little bit of help from RP Singh in the end. A much better poorly performance by the Sri Lankans with uh, Nuan Soisa picking up two wickets and then uh, Maharu in uh, his five overs picking up four. All round, a much better performance by the Sri Lankans. Slid down a little bit by some scrappy feeling at times. What uh, the Sri Lankans have to keep in mind is that uh, India have a weakened uh, bowling attack without Irfan Pathan and without Haribhajan Singh. And particularly the off spinner is going to be missed. He's bowled well in this series. They are not in the side. They need one or two of those top order batsmen to fire. India got all their runs almost through Gambir who made 103 and Rahul Dravid who was 103 not out. It'll be good if Sanat Jayasuriya can fire and Harbhajan Singh substituting for Rahul Dravid who was uh, suffering from cramp and a little hamstring strain possibly. Kumar Sangakara and Sanat Jayasuriya opening the innings and uh, Sangakara has been in good form recently. For Sri Lanka for the World 11, playing his 143rd ODI, 3,846 runs to his credit. Yeah, Sanat Jaisuriya yet to fire in the series. Such a key player from Sri Lanka's point of view. They're playing for pride today, Sri Lanka. 4-0 down in this one-day series. They may have lost the series, but they want to win this contest. Ajit Agarkar starting for India. Five wickets in the last game uh, in Pune. That's a very good shot. One bounce over the rope. No problems in putting that away. Jay Surya onto that back foot in a flash. Kaka just losing his uh, focus, ball that no ball, and then pulled it short, just swiveling on his feet, and with the pace of the ball, making sure that uh, he clears the infield. That's the way that uh, Jaya Surya likes to play those square shots, both on the offside and on the leg side. Through the offside this time, consecutive boundaries, that's gone to the boundary like a bullet. 13 for no loss. Edged and put down, straightforward chance. Good bowling by R.P. Singh. Gautam Gambhir makes a mess of it. Went to him very quickly, 
Zangakara really slashing at it. There's also that awkward height around his shoulder. Got cramped up a bit as the ball got close to him and just punched it away. It's this time taken! <laughs> Ajit Agarkar does it again. He's having a good time with Jay Surya. Good delivery too, it took off after pitching. And a smart catch, Venu Gopal Ra this time. Good bounce too. Yes. Caught one. Agarkar caught you again. Yes, they're all pumped up. That's a vital wicket, Sanat Jayasuriya, although he hasn't had a good series. Eight of eight deliveries and Venu Rao clinging on to that catch of Agaka's bowling. Sri Lanka, 15 for one. Good shot. He had to reach out for it. He's been wanting to play that shot on a couple of occasions. Hadn't really got hold of it, but this time he did absolutely elegant. That's four. Nice way to end the over. That's a good one uh, from Sri Lanka's point of view. Nine runs coming off it, 27 for one. Magnificent execution. We've seen plenty of runs come in that area today. But Taranga is a special player. He certainly is. His uh, timing has always been explicit. We saw him play a very short, breezy innings in that last match. He really needs to grab this opportunity. Very fine shot. The mid on was far too wide. Just an extension of defense from Sangakara in boundary number three. Another very good shot by Sangakara. The half volley driven firmly past uh, the mid on, who was in fact standing wide. Be tight. I think he was just home. He's called for the third umpire, but I just get the feeling Sangakara was safe. Yes, he was in fact easing off uh, when rushing in, but um, they could never tell with these direct hits. Oh, it was well in. Sangakara also creasing the bat well in time. He's trying to play it on the onside, closing the face of the bat a little too early. There were three men in the ring on the offside, but it's just going through. Fortunate to pick up three, it's 59 for one. Karang on strike, Agarkar will continue. It's gone in the air, a long way up, mid is underneath it, and he's taken it. The skipper. Virendra Sevak staggering it for Rahul Dravid. Takes a very well judged catch and Ajit Agarkar picks up his second wicket. Again in discretion, costing the wicket off of Pultaranga. He looks so good, he was looking to try and get runs. But then, this time looking to go over the top, getting far too much under it. A lot of elevation and a very well judged catch. Never easy these catches that go miles into the air. But um, Sevak with fingers pointing upwards, very well held. So Paul Taranga, his uh, good innings comes to an end, just for 14, Sri Lanka 61 for two. Akash Basmati, right? 5.99. Akash Basmati, long, long grains, low, low price, only five ninety nine.
That's gone down. Dhoni is after it. That is good stuff. And he's got a good arm. <laughs> yeah, the crowd enjoyed it. And often you see a keeper sprinting away towards the uh, boundary. Oh, fit, strong man. Off the gloves go. Let me chase this down. Yeah. The way he was sliding there, Ravi, the momentum I thought would take him across the rope. <laughs> but really a strong man. A lot of commitment there by everybody. Very good to see. 69 for two. In the air, that'll be four. Very deliberately done. Short outside the off stump. Bit of room. Sangakara went over the top. Yes, that'll break the shackles a bit. Got an opportunity to free his arms. Up and under. And he gets the elevation. The too many fielders manning that position, the better way to go. Just go over them. Outside edge, and he's taken. That is brilliantly done. Well bowled out, missing just the right length. Sub Sangakara into the drive, the outside edge, and a juggling take. Yes, good, aggressive cricket by the Indians. They've been at it. Bowled a good line. Sangakara dropped earlier in his innings at first slip by Gambhir. Not on this occasion. A juggling act. One, two, three, four, five, and got you. Number three goes down for Sri Lanka. Sangakara departs for 39, 73 for three. That's the outside edge and it's going to run away for four. A welcome boundary for Sri Lanka. Yes, Atapatu off the mark with that boundary. It was tentative. Third man a little too square. This is much better. The timing was better. The placement was good. And the fielding exceptional. Will be referred to the third umpire. But look at that for commitment in the deep. We've gone up in appeal and the third umpire has been asked to make the decision. It's been excitement all around. What a piece of cricket this is. Tremendous commitment by Suresh Raina who slid a few yards and uh, pushed the ball in and uh, Zhubrad Singh following up just pushed it inside the line. So that was done okay. That looks pretty much okay. And Zhubrad just getting his fingers under the ball. Now let's see what happens next. Third umpire will have to make two decisions, Sri. But from that, we can say the ball was in play. And he's home. He's just home. Oh, hesitance. Big hesitancy. This could be much tighter than the last one. Suresh Raina, the fielder. Gets bullseye. The hesitation could cause the problem. Oh, just when does the bail come off? Very tight. Adjust it as the bails come off. I think it's a green light, brother. It? It'll be a tight call. It's very hard to judge that one. Seems that he's going to be just in. It's going to be tight to rule that one out. He has just one frame. Can't give it. 
not conclusive enough. He's taken a chance, but this time around, great amount of success as well. Very good shot from Atapatu. It was short, it was there to be put away, and he did it in style. He's got a hold of that one, and that's gone for four. Perfectly timed, perfectly placed. So the Sri Lankans now asserting themselves. Doesn't he play the sweep well? In the air, and that is a soft dismissal. Murli Karthik has provided the much-needed breakthrough for India. Slow in the air. Atapatu just tried to turn it onto the onside. The ball just held up a trifle and uh, took the leading edge. Yes, they don't come softer than that. Atapatu just a bit too complacent. You could see that he probably relaxed his guard and then uh, just the leading edge. The ball, there was no spin, came through quickly. Atapatu played too early and a simple catch. He would be really pleased, uh, Burli Karthik. Atapattu's very good innings coming to an end of 39, Sri Lanka 1 for 3 for 4. That is a direct hit and the third umpire has been called for. JP Yadav is on fire. These direct hits can be dangerous for the batsman. Let's take a look. They are dangerous for batsmen, but I got the feeling that Jawad and I felt that he was in. Oh, that might be tight. Oh, he's out, I think he's short. There's no doubt about that. Jawad and he's short. Yes, yes he is. Yes, indeed, Ranjit. It does appear that the ball has struck and he is short. So this is going to be disaster for Sri Lanka. They're waiting for the third umpire's verdict. He's trying to ensure that he's absolutely safe with the decision because this is a real crucial time for both teams. Yes, I'm not sure whether Jawadar really scampered. And there you are, Jawadar. He has to go. I think Jawadar was to blame. He really didn't scamper through on that single. Oh, what, what a good throw this was. This is a huge, huge wicket. Take another look at that. JP Yadav picks it up and powers in the throw. And really, that is a huge, huge wicket for India. 30 gone, it's 155 for 5. Jayavardhana gone for 37 or 45. It's now 155 for 5. Good hit. One bounce over the ropes. Calculated risk taken there by Dilchan. No fielder down in the deep at mid wicket. And he hit it exactly there. Gave himself a little room. Shifted that back foot. The back foot shifts just a little bit. So that he had enough uh, time to bring his bat round and hit it through to mid wicket. So Dilshan opening out. Useful boundary. And again, the result the same. Just drifting onto the pads twice and he's got the treatment. It was there to be hit again. And Delshan uh, makes no mistake. Right off the meat of the bat. Oh, he gets bad on it. This will go to the boundary. Karthik will be disappointed. Boundary of the last ball, eight of the over, 50 partnership comes up, 206 for five. That is a terrific shot, and that is the measure of this wicket. Quite easily done, perfectly executed, wonderful four runs. Hope you could see that Russell Arnold certainly is getting back into some sort of form. An excellent shot. If that is not going to give him confidence, I don't really know what would. Excellent shot. 
More runs. He's wanting two. There's some work to do for Yadav and he's going to come back with ease for two. That brings on a splendid 50 for Dilshan. The second 50 in a row. Fourth in his ODI career. But really this player has taken rapid strides for Sri Lanka and he's going to be a force in time to come. That's for sure. Ajit Agarkar. It's gone straight and it's gone for four. The fielder at long on didn't pick it up. It was almost an eternity that he sighted the ball and made his move, by which time it was too late. In these milky conditions, we've seen this happen so often. Players in the deep really haven't been able to pick it up. A full toss hit down the ground, really not hit very firmly. But uh, the man down at long on took off very, very late. Sri Lanka need 32. He's gone over the top and he's succeeding every time he does that, Dilshan. There's no stopping him. There was no long off, but there was a long on, so he played it inside out. There's no question that Dilshan has got a measure of uh, the bowling and the conditions. Just looking to go over the top and succeeding. 22 to get from 28. He's gone over the top. That is a handsome shot. Perfectly executed. Lovely straight bat. Four runs. It was in the slot for the lofted shot. And Russell Arnold accepted it with both hands. An excellent shot. Full face of the bat. And there was no mistake that was going to the boundary. That is another boundary. So 10 of the over and this time all to Arnold. It's 274 for 5. That is in the air but there's no man in the deep. This is going to be very difficult. If at all. I don't think he got a hand to it either. They come back for the second. And there you are the coach a bit annoyed. See, when you're out there, we need to finish things off. See, that was, that was a very rash shot by Dilshan. He's batted so well so far. Went miles up. It's never easy running back, picking up catches. Yes, he mustn't, he mustn't give it away, Dilshan. They've got the one they needed. They won the game, Sri Lanka, and in style, with overs to spare. They've reached 286 for 5 in 47.4 overs. Dilshan staying not out on 81 of just 67. Arnold just missing out on a 50. He's not out on 49 of 47. What a splendid partnership this has been. 131 for the sixth wicket of just 106. So that must be a bit of relief for the Sri Lankan dressing room. It's a Sri Lanka card. The Sangha card has started off well. Jawad and Atapatu making contributions, but none of them really went on. But it was Dilshan and Arnold who together took Sri Lanka to victory. Dilshan, a very fine 81, Arnold 49, made in 47 deliveries. Not a lot in there for the bowlers. Agarkar getting two quick wickets to begin proceedings. After that, only RP Singh getting one and one for Murli Karthik. There was a run out as well. So that's how the match panned out. The toss one was won by Sri Lanka. They put India into bat. In their 50 overs, India mustered 285 for eight. There were two hundreds there, mind you. Gambhir 103, Dravid 103 not out, but a not, uh, not a lot else. There was no support from the rest of the batting side. Four for 20. Maruf was super sub, uh, was super sub. Came into bowl five overs and got four for 20. Two for Soiza in the beginning. That pegged the Indians back and Vas one for 56. Sri Lanka in response needed 286. They did it very well. At one stage it looked difficult, but that partnership between Dilshan and Arnold really uh, has brought Sri Lanka back into, uh, well, not uh, into the series, but they've got some of their pride back and played fabulously. Fifth ODI at Ahmedabad, won by Sri Lanka by five wickets. Two more to go. One on the 9th of November, the next one on the 12th. One on Rajkot and the other at Baroda. And